You know what they say, my wife said. Why pay someone else to do it when you can get the blisters yourself? She was being sarcastic, I think. Trying to tell me the scheme my brother and I had just cooked up was unnecessary, or as someone less kind might put it, imbecilic. The plan involved a little landscaping at my mom's house where my brother was gonna have his wedding reception. Mom lives in a sweet but somewhat ramshackle house. Its saving grace is the property. A few park-like acres that skirt a lake. The problem is, a pretty steep hill sits between the house and the water. Our idea was to build a boulder-lined switchback path from the back door to a two-story timber staircase we'd construct down to a gravel landing, which, because of a natural spring nearby, would need a dry well. And we'd connect that to a walk that would wind its way under some shade trees along the shoreline, to a picnic grotto and a three-stepped terrace landing. And that's where we'd put a gangway to bridge the lake's shallow waters to deeper water, where we'd put a dock. Nothing too big, maybe 15 by 15 feet. With utilities, of course on pontoons. Easy, I said. It'll take a weekend. Tops. My wife stared at me, without speaking. You know, it's funny how sometimes you can almost hear the word idiot through someone's eyes. Anyway, defending myself, I said, Mom will lend a hand, and, and I'm sure Grandma will help too. In the end, even with Grandma's help moving the boulders, it took a couple of months of weekends before we finished up. And though we got the project done, we expanded on my wife's, you know what they say, to include the addendums. Why hire someone when you can get the mosquito bites yourself? And the poison ivy yourself? The sunstroke yourself? And no doubt from standing in the swampy water at the bottom of the dry well for too long, some sort of moss foot fungus that smells like turtles yourself. Was it worth it? Well, you know what they say. No. I mean, the results are great and it cost a fraction of what hiring someone would cost, but did we need it more than six or eight leisurely weekends? Let me put it this way. There's a story in the May issue of this old house called 75 Outdoor Upgrades for Under $75. It's chock full of smart, budget-savvy improvement ideas. Most can be accomplished in hours at little risk to life or limb, and it leaves plenty of time to enjoy the results. Check it out and let me know what you think. My guess is not one of them are gonna lead to turtle fungus.